This video is still on the chapter of vector spaces. Uh, vector spaces. And now we introduce the concept of linear independence. Definition, linearly dependent and linearly independent. A set of vectors, v1, v2, vn, is said to be linearly dependent over the field F. So a set of vectors is always over a over some structure, in this case over a field, okay, and we are going to call the field F. If there are elements A1, A2, An from the field, so this these are scalars from the field, not all zero, such that so it's linearly dependent if a1 times v1 so this one from the field times this one from the the, the vector field okay from the set a1 times v1 a2 times v2 etc till a n times v n they equal zero if this happens we say that this uh, the set of vectors, the set of vectors is linearly dependent. A set of vectors that is not linearly dependent over a field is called linearly independent over the field. So we are going to see a quick example in the R3 space. We pick three videos, three vectors, one zero zero. 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, these three vectors. And we are going to check that they are linearly independent over the reals. Okay, so if they were dependent, there would be a, a, b, and c, um, such that if they were dependent, there would be a, b, and c, such that a times the first vector, b times the second vector, and c times the third vector equals zero, if they were linearly dependent. Okay, this was my mobile phone. So, if this is true, a times 1 is a, plus b times 1 is b, plus c times 1 is c, a, b, c, this is 0, this is 0, this is 1. So a plus b plus c, c, b plus c would be equal 0. So in order for this to happen, a plus b plus c should be equal 0, c equals 0, b plus c equals 0, but that happens only if a, b and c equals 0. So it proves that the the, these three vectors are linearly independent because according to the definition these a's these a1 a2 a3 or a b c in this case of, that are in the field should not all be zero and in this case they are all zero so these three vectors are not dependent so they are independent so we get into another definition definition of basis let v be a vector space over a field a subset b of v is called the basis for the vector space if b is linearly independent over the field and b spans v so we have a vector space here Okay, and here we have a subset B, okay, with a couple of uh, vectors. So this B will be a basis if all these vectors are linearly independent over the same field, of course, and B spans or generates, as we are used in, in group theory uh, if B spans V 
v. Okay, we are going to see this example. We have a vector space v, where the matrices are in the form a, a plus b, a plus b, b. So it's a vector space over the field of the reals, where a and b are in the reals. So we claim that b, you can see that easily that b is a subset of v, right? b is a basis of v. So for that we have to check that these uh, matrices are linearly independent over the field and we have to prove that b spans the vector space. So to check if, it, if the metric matrices are or not independent, we're going to multiply the first matrix, 1, 1, 1, 0, by A and B and the second matrix in the supposed basis by B. And we are going to see if we get all zeros, the, the zero uh, matrix. Okay, so A times 1 is A, because B times 0 is 0. A times 1 plus B times 1, etc. And this matrix should be equal to the null matrix, right? But for that, you need A to be equal 0, and for instance, here, A should be equal 0 and B equal 0. So A should be equal to B equal to 0. So, according to the definition, the scalars cannot be all zeros. So, since they are all zeros, it means that these vectors are linearly independent. But the last question is, are all uh, matrices from this space spanned by... Uh, the two vectors that are on the basis, well, you can check that that happens here. So we can say B spans vector space V.